Hello everybody and welcome back to Winner in a Week, a series of poker coaching videos designed to provide even novice players with all of the information and means that they'll need to beat up to 80 or 90 percent of all the opponents that they'll face at at least the low and mid limits. My name is Dylan and in this video, Player Profiling, Understanding the Numbers, we'll be taking a detailed look at the different types of players you'll face both online and live and we'll go into great detail concerning the statistics that poker tracking software such as Hold'em Manager will provide for you. I found that in today's online playing environment very many players do have such software but very very few of them know how to properly interpret the statistics that they then see. So this is the idea of this video to give you a very broad overview of the different types of players that you'll face and concerning the live game, of course, you're not going to have the statistics that are in front of you. Um, you're not going to have necessarily a really high sample size, and even if you did, you're probably, unless you have uh, a computer mind, not going to be able to calculate exactly what every single player has done in every single position over yeah, the hours that you've even played in one session, and much less over a period of weeks or months or years. So. Concerning live play and player profiling, what I would initially say is definitely buy the book, uh, Caro's Book It Tells. Okay, it's by Mike Caro, and it is basically the Bible of tells for live play. He gives you a lot of information there also concerning a lot of the conscious and subconscious mannerisms, behavior, and yeah, what, what players do and say that really hint at the type of player they're likely to be. All right, And always be very, very aware that the type of player, whatever type of player you then attribute to a certain opponent, can very much change even within one session. A lot of it can be advertisement, as we'll get into here shortly. A lot of what they show um, or don't show is very conscious and they're, they're doing so in order to give you a wrong a wrong view of their of their persona so to say their poker persona or their player type concerning online play there are a lot of players who then play different strategies as we will cover then in uh, the cash game section on Texas Hold'em for example you can play short stack strategies big stack strategies and even hybrid strategies of the two where you buy in for different stack sizes now when you buy in for these different stack sizes, the, the strategies you then employ are markedly different. And so the numbers that you'll see from players who then do change up their game, play super tight aggressive sometimes, uh, especially when small stacked, maybe much looser when big stacked, uh, a bit of both from time to time just to, just to change things up you gotta really really be aware of that and you have to know that a lot of these numbers can be can be skewed okay so you really need to stay on the ball don't just look at statistics and take them for or take them at face value look into it a bit more uh, go a bit deeper try again to always get into the minds of your opponents and based on position based on the limits based on the table conditions based on the history you have, you can get a pretty good idea of whom you're playing and how you should then adjust. Okay, that being said, this video is in, intended again to give you a very, very broad overview of what you're going to be looking at in the online environment especially. We'll also address a bit um, how you can use this information, all these concepts for live play, and take it from there. We'll also at the very, very end look at a few um, a few example hands in the Hold'em replay as always to show you how you can analyze a table for example and determine the type of, of opponents that you're or the types of opponents that you're facing and come up with strategies based on the opponent and or opponents that are in any given pot with you. So I'd like to start with a quote from Chris Ferguson. This came from the special features on the Rounders DVD and he says here there are a number of great players and they can all have different styles, and they can all be very successful, and they can all win. It's amazing how all these different styles can win at poker, and you got to love them all. That is a very, very important point that he makes here. Um, there isn't one perfect style. 
and any time somebody argues that there might be a perfect style, he or she is completely wrong. It's if for those of you who know kung fu, there are various fighting styles, and some are better against different opponents, and and others are better against uh, other opponents. The true kung fu masters, of course, they they know them all, and they're able to combine and utilize them all in a way that is, of course, far superior to someone who only just knows the one little fixed style. That is very, very similar to the game of poker in as far as those who are able to properly adapt to their playing environments are, in the long run, better players. Uh, if we just say that as a kind of a blanket statement, if you know all the different styles, you know how to employ them perfectly, then you'll be way ahead of the game any time you face somebody who only knows, for example, this tight aggressive style, or somebody who is uh, only a calling station, or only a mouse, or only a knit. Uh, these terms we'll get into here shortly, but those who know, again, all the different styles are able to employ them perfectly, uh, make good adjustments uh, in accordance with the table conditions with the players that they're facing. These are your eagles. These are your top pros. These are your very best players in any given situation. And that's where we want to get you guys. So when we begin talking about player profiling, there are four basic descriptors. It's loose and tight, passive and aggressive. Now, loose tight means which or how many hands you play total, given the position as always. And passive versus aggressive refers to how you play your hands. So this time I'd like to look at an article on style and skill, which gives you a very good overview of these different playing types and that in the context of game theory. So this Kevin Burns wrote the following article in Heads Up Face-Offs on Style and Skill in the Game of Poker. And you guys can find that online just by searching with the title. And I'd like to briefly go through this article and touch on the main points. It says here in the abstract, Poker is a game of imperfect information where players make inferences and investments under uncertainty. Winning requires skill as well as luck, and people play with different styles. Here I examine the roles of style and skill in a simplified poker game. I propose that style arises from mental limits in estimating odds and stakes, and I define style as a strategy for making decisions in light of these mental limits. We move forward there. My results show that the best style for one player depends on the style of his opponent and that novice styles can be remarkably effective against expert skill. I discuss the reasons behind these results and suggest how many uh, how this study may apply to practical problems in business and uh, warfare, which are real-life games of inference and investment that are also played with style and skill. This article is very, very multifaceted. It's about the game of poker, but of course, as he writes here, it can be applied to the principles contained in this article. It can be applied to many different aspects of life as such. I'd like to go over here to this section right here. Um, in general, style refers to how people play a, a game, and skill refers to how well people play a game, in general. The former, how, clearly affects the latter, how well, but the relation is not always obvious, and in fact, the colloquial distinction between style and skill is typically as follows. Skill refers to the aspects of a player's manner that are clearly linked to a desired outcome while style refers to aspects of a player's manner that are not so clearly linked to any outcome. His definition of style is right here. It says, style is a functional basis for making decisions in the absence of a rational basis for making decisions, i.e., when the expected utility for each option is the same. That is I think very clearly stated, it's about as well as you can say it. Um, and what he was referring to ab above is you have you have skill. You can be the most skilled person in the world, but under uh, conditions where you are uncertain, then this aspect of style, you know, how you how you approach the game, comes very much uh, to the forefront. And then we talk about four different general types of style. Okay, in the game of poker, he's looked at it. Uh, he's defined it as such. Uh, he got this actually from uh, Phil Helmo's article here in 2003, your book, uh, characterizing the following five animal types. So you have a lion, which is tight aggressive, 
a jackal, which is loose aggressive, an elephant, which is loose passive, and a mouse, which is tight passive. And then you have the eagle, who is uh, yeah, top pro, as he states it here. Um, common theory, poker theory, is you know that the lion style, of course, eagle style, but the lion style, this tight aggressive, is the winning style for big stack strategy play in both full ring and six max games. Okay, given the game of Texas Hold'em, especially. Um, that being said, there is if you if you're only playing that style uh, and you never change it up, you're going to be readable. Um, it may or may not work out for you in the long run. Depends completely on on your table conditions. And given given certain table conditions, I mean, you can you can play a complete jackal style, even a maniac style, this loose aggressive, and and do really really well against especially passive opponents. Um, elephants would then be your so-called calling stations and mouses would be akin to so-called nits. Guys who only play uh, premium hands and when they get into it um, they post flop they're very passive. Um, you can push them off a lot of hands but because they are playing such quality uh, starting hands, such a, they have such a tight range of hands that they actually play, it is very often, especially online at the low and middle limits, the way to go. So um, this tight aggressive style, that aggression can actually lead to big leaks in your game. If you notice that your aggression is too high, uh, which is probably my case, then you need to you need to maybe tone that down a bit. Um, given table conditions, again, if you're facing a lot of elephants, you're not going to be pushing them off of hands. Um, if you're facing jackals, you know, and you're out of position, you might yeah you might be in a really bad spot. Again, always look for optimal playing conditions against players that you can handle and against players who both don't have the skill level that you have and also don't know how to adjust as well concerning style and that's again what we're getting into right now so this eagle he says is a special player who plays at a higher level where matters of style become matters of skill that means um, you know as we defined in uh, the videos on poker math essentially someone who is capable of understanding all the different styles and then makes perfect adjustments accordingly. Okay. Uh, this then is just kind of a breakdown of the four different types you have here. Tight aggressive for the lion, tight passive for the mouse, uh, loose passive for the elephant, and then loose aggressive for the jackal. And yeah, this is the game then that he set up for that. This pared down Paradigm Poker is what he's called it. You guys can pause the video there and have a look. And these are the stakes. Okay. And this is actually how it worked out for the different matchups. Computer results here. You see that the mouse was the big winner. <laughs> uh, this uh, this negative here is against the eagle, right? So you see in parentheses that's how much each player type then lost, how each how much each style lost to an expert player, and i.e. eagle. Uh, the jackals in paying, uh, you see here the thickness of the line is paying the most to the lion. Uh, he's still paying out to <laughs> all the other three, uh, just because of this really extreme aggression, right? This loose aggressive style. Uh, lion does really well. Mouse, as you see here in this little game that he set up, is actually the winning player. And um, again, depending on who your opponent is, uh, changing up styles accordingly is uh, to be recommended. So that guys, just as a general overview, again, uh, check out that article. It's quite interesting uh, just for game theory as such, and especially this little uh, game that he set up. And it really sheds a lot of light on player types in general.